we're also going to have digital money which goes from device to device, so they're two separate things. I think for some of the players, they're not going to start building digital currency tomorrow, but they do have to start developing strategies towards it now. But we also want industrial digital currency for machines. We have a two-tier solution. So the bank doesn't issue electronic cash directly to people. You have what the bank call payment interface providers. It's a bit of a mystery why banks haven't come together to work on this problem sooner. Если это не регулировать так или иначе, то вот такие вот неожиданные могут быть последствия, которые для нас. Who's seen a 500 euro note? Anybody? No, never. I couldn't even. You have. You're a drug dealer, though, right? If you want to deliver financial health to people, you can't do it just by looking at their bank account. You need to see pensions, mortgages, insurances, all of these kind of things. The number one problem facing banks was bank robberies. And of course, in those days, the banks were robbed by people who didn't work for them, so it had a very different kind of characteristic. As an industry, we want to build in the right privacy-enhancing technologies to prevent future abuse, rather than requiring citizens to take care of themselves. In all those years since the web was first invented, you still don't know whether you're talking to a real person or not. You shouldn't ask ChatGPT a question you don't already know the answer to. It's not intelligent. It's making shit up. It's clear that the current system can't quite be working as well as we would hope. These consequences were only unexpected to people that didn't read my article about it last year. In 15 minutes, you're going to know what the metaverse is well enough to draw a diagram for somebody else. 15 minutes. That's a high bar. The metaverse is obviously a reputation economy. It's not a physical economy. None of us are physically in it, as far as I know. But when these good people actually venture into the metaverse, how are they actually going to manage all of these things? So I think the magic word you want me to say is wallets. Yes. Yeah? They're the overlap between the customer and the service providers, between the universe and the metaverse, between the real world and the virtual world. It comes down to the wallets. Why are you on the panel? Because I wrote a book about it. I can't think of I any was... other way to sell it. <laughs>